Welcome to the How to Run Reports in Package CCE training session. In this session, you will be introduced to the types of reports that are available in Package CCE and shown how to run some of these reports. Cisco Unified Intelligence Center is a web-based graphical user interface that provides real-time and historical reporting and customizable dashboards. You can copy stock reports and then edit those copies to customize the order and names of the columns or to present the information graphically. Package CCE captures data in two separate databases, the real-time and the historical database. The database that is used for each report is dependent upon what type of report that is going to be run. Real-time data remains in the call router memory if it is less than five minutes old. After five minutes, the data is considered historical. The historical database will contain either 15 or 30 minute summaries. There are a number of stock reports that may be downloaded from Cisco.com. For most customers, the stock reports will meet their reporting needs. These reports include the following. The Agent Historical All Fields Report. This report contains the data for the agents in the selected skill groups for the selected intervals. The Agent Not Ready Detail Report, which shows the agent availability in a logon session. The Agent Real-Time Report, that shows each agent's currently active skill group, state, and call direction within each media routing domain into which the agent is logged. The Agent Skill Group Historical All Fields Report, which shows the activity for selected agents for a selected interval sorted by skill group. The Agent Skill Group Real-Time All Fields Report, which shows current agent status within the specified skill groups. The Agent State Real-Time Graph, which uses a pie chart to show the current total number of agents in different agent states. The Agent Team Historical All Fields Report. This contains all the available report team data from the Agent Skill Group Interval Database table, each selected team during the time period selected. The Agent Team Real-Time Report, which shows the current status of the selected agent teams and the current agent states for each agent within the selected agent teams. The Agent Team State Counts Real-Time Report which shows the real-time agent team information on number of agents assigned to a team, number of agents logged on, number of agents in different states, and number of agents available to receive incoming tasks. The call type abandoned answer distribution historical report. This lists the number of answered and abandoned calls for separate intervals for the report's time period broken out into summaries. The call type historical all fields report which displays the status of call types for the selected time period. The call type skill group historical all fields report, which shows the interval status of skill groups by call type for the selected time period. The call type real time all fields report that lists the current status of call types. The peripheral skill group historical all fields report, which includes consolidated call and skill group statistics gathered in interval increments. The Peripheral Skill Group Real-Time All Fields Report that lists the current status of the selected skill groups. The IVR Port Performance Historical Report that shows the performance of the IVR ports for the selected period of time. It presents a table of half-hour counts of IVR ports in service, ports idle, and the time in hours, minutes, and seconds that all ports were busy. The Audit Trail. This feature allows you to view the sequence of audit records for each transaction or action that is performed on the Cisco Unified Intelligence Center server. The user to object report, which contains all the entities of the user. And finally, the object to user report, which contains all the users or entity names that share the object. All the activity that takes place for monitor peripherals is tracked and summarized at different intervals and in different categories across all contact types. To better understand what data is collected, let's briefly review the activities, intervals, and categories. We'll start with agent activity. The logged in time is the total time during the interval the agent was logged in, measured in hours, minutes, and seconds. There are five states that the agent can be in on the report. These states include available, talking, after call work, also known as ACW, not ready, and reserved. An agent can only be in one state at any time. Now let's explore call and task activity. Calls presented is the quantity of calls 
that were delivered to a skill group or precision queue. Answered refers to calls that were presented and answered, whereas handled refers to a task like an email or a chat session that was presented and then delivered to an agent. Abandon is when a call hangs up or if a call is delivered to an agent. IVR time tracks how long callers remain in the IVR. This can comprise various reasons, including how long the call prompts take to play as well as the time customers wait in the queue for an agent. Queue time only tracks the time the IVR is used for queuing a call while they wait for an agent to become available. Handle time includes talk time and after call work time. Once an agent answers a call, a timer begins and runs until the customer is satisfied and the call is terminated. This is called talk time. Hold time tracks the amount of time the agent is putting customers on hold. Once the customer hangs up, ACW allows the agent to select reason code or notes that need to be written into the customer's record about the call. Average speed of answer is used to determine how long it takes an agent to answer an incoming call. The outbound attempt tracks how many outbound calls were attempted, which includes both completed calls and unsuccessful call attempts. Next, let's look at reporting intervals. Let's start with real time. A reporting interval of now gives real time statistics on whatever category is being monitored. An interval of 2 5 takes whatever statistic is being captured, what has been going on for the last five minutes. An example would be AH25 which means average handle time for the last five minutes for a skill group. The today interval keeps a running tally of what has been happening today. Using the to interval, the user running the report can also set the interval. The intervals available depend on the report that is being run. As for historical intervals, peripheral gateways capture historical data in one of two interval tables, either 15 or 30 minutes. All PGs need to be identical. If all are configured to use the 15-minute tables, then that is where the data will be stored, and the 30-minute interval tables will be empty. Now let's look at detail records. A route determines the path used to deliver the call to either a peripheral or to an agent. Call segment is a detailed termination call detail record, also known as a TCD record, which is written for each call that arrives at a peripheral. The TCD record is written after the call segment terminates and the after call work is complete. The characteristics of the call segment depends upon what peripheral is handling the call. The agent state transition statistic tracks the agent state transitions that agents initiate. This could be a sign of work avoidance. The outbound attempts tracks how many outbound calls were attempted, which includes both completed calls and unsuccessful call attempts. IVR interactions track how many interactions a customer has with an IVR before a call is delivered to an agent. And finally, let's look at categories. A call type is a category of incoming call. Based on the call type, the router selects the routing script that ultimately sends the call to an appropriate agent. Each call type has a schedule that determines which routing script or scripts are active for that call type. Call types are the highest level of reporting entity and the first reporting entity for which ICM captures data. They can be used to provide cradle-to-grave reporting under certain circumstances and can also be used to provide an enterprise view of applications in the call center. A skill group is a group of agents that has been trained to take a particular type of call. An example would be sales skill group as opposed to a support skill group. Each would require different training to be able to handle calls from customers. This statistic shows the summary statistics for skill groups within a call type ID. This information is useful for tying queues to resources and for forecasting and scheduling. An agent is a person that is trained to handle certain types of calls. The campaign is a list of phone numbers as well as a group of agents that you want to make outbound calls. Now let's take a look at how to run a few of these reports. We'll start by running the agent real-time report. First navigate to the report area in the Cisco Unified Intelligent Center interface. Now navigate to the stock reports and select the agent real-time report. From the list of agents, select the desired agents. Once all of the desired agents are selected, click the right arrow to add them to the selected column. Now click the Run button to start the report. The time the report takes to compile will vary based upon the amount of data that is being retrieved.
Once the report is complete, it will be displayed. You may save this report to be used at a later time. Simply click the Save As button. The next report we will look at is the Agent Skill Group Historical All Fields Report. Select the Agent Skill Group Historical All Fields Report from the list of available reports. A list of skill group IDs will appear. From this list, select the desired skill groups. Since this is a historical report, you will have to select a date range. You may choose a relative or absolute date range. An absolute date range allows you to enter specific dates, while a relative date range allows you to choose ranges such as today, yesterday, this week, last week, and so on. You may also configure the report to restrict the results to specific time ranges or days of the week by checking the appropriate checkbox. No such restrictions are applied in this example. Once the report is compiled, it is displayed. You may save this report to be used again at a later date by clicking the Save As button. Now let's take a look at running the Agent Skill Group Real-Time Report. Select the Agent Skill Group Real-Time All Fields Report from the list of available reports. A list of skill group IDs will appear. From this list, select the desired skill groups. Since this is a real-time report, there is no need to select a date range. Click the Run button to start the report. Once the report is compiled, it is displayed. You may save this report to be used again at a later date by clicking the Save As button. The last report we will look at is the Call Type Abandon Answer Distribution Historical Report. Select the Call Type Abandon Answer Distribution Historical Report from the list of available reports. As with other historical reports, you will need to select a date range. You may choose a relative or absolute date range. An absolute date range allows you to enter specific dates, while a relative date range allows you to choose ranges such as today, yesterday, this week, last week, and so on. You may also configure the report to restrict the results to specific time ranges or days of the week by checking the appropriate checkbox. No such restrictions are applied in this example. Now select the call types you want to run this report against. Once all of the desired call types are highlighted, click the right arrow button to add them to the selected column. Click the Run button to start the report. Once the report is compiled, it is displayed on the screen. You may save this report by clicking the Save As button. This concludes this session.